I'm going to make a Jenny Gammy Nativity. I've tried to keep this one as simple as possible in case you want to use it for children. This is one that I've pre printed from plain white card and I had good fun colouring this in and decorating it myself. But like all the designs it is fairly sturdy, folds flat um, and then just bounces up to its 3D shape again. This is one I've actually printed from the car coloured card that's provided on the CD. I've only printed one side, I've not printed the, the back of them all, but you can print both sides and stick them together if you wish. What we have here is the roof and a strengthening bar to hold the roof. We have the front of the stable, the back of the stable, the two sides of the stable with a little cow and a little sheep. We have the centre of the stable with Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and we have a bottom strengthening bar. We're going to start by taking the middle section with the nativity scene and we're going to take one of the side sections, I'm going to take the little sheep. And what we're going to do here is the very bottom slot at the edge here and the hook at the top here are going to go into the very middle section here. So that slots through at the bottom and bend the nativity slightly to hook under at the top. We're then going to do exactly the same on the other side with the little cow. It's going to slot through at the bottom and hook under at the top. I just thought I'd mention there that I've actually um, included in the design so that you can just cut a circle round the cow rather than actually having to cut the detail out because again I thought that would be easier for children. We're then going to go to the very back of the design and the first thing we're going to do is take this bottom strengthening bar and we're going to slot this part right through the centre of the nativity here. Just push it straight through and slot over. We're then going to take the very back of the stable and this has got a slot at the middle at the bottom which will slot over the strengthening bar at the end here and two slots here which will slot underneath either side here and two hooks at the top edges here which will hook either side of the cow in the shape section. So if we slot it over the strengthening bar at the bottom first and then I'm going to slot this sheep section just over the bottom there and bend the back of the stable to slot under where the hook is. Again at this side I'll take the cow section and slot it over at the bottom and bend the stable so it hooks under at the edge. And that's the back fully attached now. We're going to do the same at the front and you'll notice here that I've cut out the top and the bottom the centre of the doors but not the edges so these can actually be folded back so that you can see into the stable. We're going to do the same, we're going to put the bottom slot here over the strengthening bar at the bottom here and then at the edges I'm going to slot the cow section over at the bottom and then bend the door section so it hooks under at the top and the same with the sheep section, slot it over at the bottom and bend the door section so it slots under at the top. You then have the main structure with the doors so that you can see inside the nativity. For the roof section we have the strengthening bar first which has three holes which go with the three holes in the roof section here. To attach this we have to put it right inside first and up the middle section here. So you have these two T shapes either side of the nativity scene and then just slot it over the front and the back section of the stable. We then have the, the roof strengthening bar in shape. We then have the section of the roof which has the two holes for these two T sections of the strengthening bar. And what we need to do is fold these so that they fit through the holes and then once they've gone through the holes, we will unfold them again. I'll just do that just now. One through, just need to get the other one through. That's it. 
and once it's through you just unfold the T-sections and I use my fingers to just flatten them a little bit. Just to make sure everything's in place, fold the design flat and fold it flat in the opposite direction. And there you have your completed nativity to display at Christmas.